So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. Six, the average of your first three test grades is 78. What grade must you get on your fourth and final test to make your average 80? So your situation is that you have a 78 going into the final, and you want to end up with an 80, and you're trying to figure out what you need to get on the fourth test. We can assume that all the tests are weighted equally, right? We have no reason to believe that they're weighted differently. Um, so what is an average? An average is the total number of points, at least in this situation, right? Total number, total quantity of points, so I'll just say total points, that you've accumulated on all of your tests so far, divided by how many tests you've taken, the number of tests. So if we apply that to your current situation, so far you've taken three tests, and you know what your average is, it's 78. So we could figure out what the total points is, right? We just multiply by the number of tests on both sides. So total points currently, after three tests, equals your current average times the number of tests that you've taken so far. So the total points that you have to date is 78 times 3. And that works out to 234. And you want to have an 80 when all is said and done. So let's apply this equation again, but a little differently. If, it, if when all is said and done, your average needs to be 80, and you'll have taken four tests, we can rearrange it this way again. So this, is, this applies to now. But in the final situation, the total points will be your average in the end. Ultimately, you'll have an 80. And the number of tests you'll have taken is 4 at that point. So that's 320 points. That's in the end. So if you currently have 234 and you need to get to 320, that's that difference, whatever that difference in total points that you need to accumulate is, that's what you need to get. And the difference between 234 and 320 is... 86. So that's what you need. Now if you're interested in doing this problem a little faster, it really depends on where you are in your test prep. If you're early in the game, you, I mean, you need to understand what an average is. So if this is something that's not very intuitive for you, hopefully you can find more examples like this one and practice them until it becomes second nature. If, you're, if this is already pretty easy for you, but you're looking for a way to do it faster, think of it this way. You missed your target of an 80 average by two points each on each of the first three tests. And that's not necessarily the case, right? I'm not saying you got 378s. So you could have got something lower and then something higher, and it worked out to be an average of 78. But let's just suppose it was literally 378s in a row. You got exactly 78 on the first three tests. So you missed the mark by two points each of those times. So it's kind of like you're down six points total so far. So to get an 80 average in the end, you need to get 80 plus the 6 that you didn't get the first time around. So it's like, um, you know, it's counterbalancing the 2 that you missed out on 3 times. You're down 6. You've got to make up 6 more. 86 will get you there. And you can see that these add to 320. Once you know the answer, it's kind of easy to work backwards. But, um, you know, kind of coming up with this sort of method at the beginning save you a lot of time. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.